Hi, I'm Fraser from Rugged Guide, and this is just a quick guide to show you how to fit a full tilt canvas to a 109. Um, this was an ex-military vehicle, and the canvas was uh, very rotten. A lot of the straps were, cooked, were uh, rotten and, and broke. So, didn't have to undo everything, but obviously get all the straps undone before you start. And this will give you an idea of how the actual canvas is put on, which helps uh, do it right when you put the new canvas on, because it's exactly the same design as the original canvas. So on a 109, the canvas is clipped onto the top of the windscreen, as you can see there, uh, with a retaining strip that runs in a channel above the door tops. So once that's all on, been undone, and you've undone all the straps internally, just get rid of the old canvas, it's pretty easy. Check all your hood sticks are straight and bent, and then give the channels a good clear out above the door tops ready to fit the new canvas. So the canvas comes from Exmoor Trim ready so you just simply clip it into position on top of the windscreen uh, and then I'll, that will allow you to unroll the canvas over the hood sticks quite easily. It is easy with two people but I just wanted to give you an idea of uh, how easy it can be with just one person. The whole job took pretty much 40 minutes. So once you've got that strap in that retaining strip Above the door there, just unravel the canvas over the hood sticks. The first thing you want to do is tighten up, take the tension up on the top of the canvas by putting the rear straps on. And then you want to be fitting the front straps, pulling them around the back of the front hoop and then forwards onto the uh, buckle on the windscreen. Then make sure that you've also got the strap uh, tightened on the front hood stick for the side of the canvas. And you can thread that rope through the other way. Uh, I prefer it this way so that there's not a knot sat at the back of the canvas sticking out. Um, and then anyway, once you've decided which way you're going to do it, just thread the rope along the side of the vehicle into the retaining clips, all the way back to the loop on the rear quarter there. Then you want to flap down the tail of the canvas uh, and thread it over the rear hood stick, making sure it's nice and tight and that will actually gather and pull the corners of the top of the hood around the rear hood stick there. Check your tight, uh, the tension of the straps at the rear again and the front um, and this one you want to keep checking this as you're doing it so to make sure you get the best fit on the canvas. Then you're ready to actually tuck in the, the rear of the canvas into the flaps there. And what we tend to do is thread them through the buckle and then back into the flap itself. And that stops them flapping about uh, when you're driving uh, and wearing away at the canvas. Again, that's just a simple strap that's in the top rear corner of the door inside, just to keep everything secure. and then you've got the two buckles on the centre hood stick in the rear. So once you've done everything, checked all the tension of the straps, thread the rear of the canvas onto the tailgate. Uh, as tight as you can do it really, um, but you will find there'll still be quite a lot of creases. It's quite generous, the canvas, but what you'll find over sort of uh, a week or two, uh, there will be some shrinkage, especially if there's some rain and some bright sunshine, and it will settle down and really pull itself tight over the hood sticks. Um, ours has been on there now for about a month and uh, it's a great fit and it looks really tight. And you'll be amazed at the amount of difference it makes having a nice canvas on there. It reduces the wind noise uh, and it's just such an improvement. And there'll be some pictures online soon. We'll show you just exactly how good it looks now it's settled down.